What's up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here hanging out today being super scary on the Derpy Craft server. I hope that you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Did a little bit of mining off camera and I'm really excited about some of the stuff and things that we got. Um, let's take a look here. You know what's really weird is that this guy, the skeleton guy, is super tall. But when, when you're standing, he, you're only like, your camera's only like, like one block high. Super strange. Anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at... Check this out. Ooh, Marching Potato, time to strike, man. He built a, a wooden sword. Good for you, buddy. So <laughs> it's, time, it's time to get into some ultimate stuff and things. So let's take a look here. We got ultimate pick. I, I was thinking about making the ultimate sword, but I think we're going to make the ultimate pick. So and I think we can. Let's go ahead and take a look here really quickly. We've got to do two of these guys. Oh, man, I think we have just enough. Two of the tit, uh, titanium and two of the uranium. Two of the titanium, two of the uranium. It is amazing. Let us go ahead and take a look. We need one piece of iron, that's it, and then we can make the ultimate pick. This pick is the ultimate pick. There is no better pick that I know of, I think. And it's one of these, wait, one of those, one of these, one of those, one of these, one of those, like this, like, wait, hold on, how How does this happen? What is happening? Like this, like this, like this? Bam, we did it! Holy crap -o. Look at this thing, this is plus 15 attack damage. Fortune five, baby, efficiency five! Holy crap plus 38 attack damage so now we have basically unlimited fortune well super fortune powers and we have where's the other pick i have right here another silk touch already so we can get silk touch in like no problem at all and we can get um fortune no problem at all so this is really unbelievable let us go ahead and grab some stuff and things here oh those are red ant troll box those don't go in there get inside your correct chest thank you let us go ahead and get some of the diamond ore I have out and some of the lapis ore. Let's build a humongo let's build a humongous tower of the amazingness right here of lapis and diamond. And then when we're ready to harvest it, we're gonna harvest it in one big long thing with our ju new super duper pick. And then I'll be our bees. I was, we're gonna do a little bit of a guessing game. You guys wait, it's gonna be amazing. Hold on. <laughs> and we're back, and I want you guys to take a guess on this amazing tower of diamond and lapis how many we're going to get with this new efficiency five fortune five pick put your comments in the down there and make sure you guys i didn't want i didn't say at the beginning of the video if you got oh man this looks cool if you guys like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up button to show your support for derpy crap i'd love to see 2,000 likes on this video if we could get there it would be unbelievable all right so here we go are you ready let's do it <laughs> Bam! <laughs> and we're done. All right, you guys guessed. Put it in the comments. Don't cheat. Don't wait till... I know what you guys are going to do. Some of you guys are going to wait until you see my inventory, and then you're going to put the number. You're going to put exactly the same number. You're going to put off by one. And then in the comments, you're going to be like, Oh, slip off by one. So close. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just kidding. That's not, <laughs> that's not how you guys sound. So, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on here. Holy moly, buddy. Holy crap. Oh, we got... Three, two stacks and 27 of diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three quarters ish stacks of lapis. That's crazy. So, the first thing I think what we could do, which would be pretty fun, is to go ahead and build the lapis armor. Um, it's not the best armor in the game or anything like that, but we've got a lot of this lapis right now, so why wouldn't we check that out? I've already got the helm, I showed you guys that last time, and it offers up. Projectile Projection, Respiration, Affinity. It's got a lot of great stuff on it. It's got, got good stuff and things. Let's go ahead and head over here right now. Let's do the chest plate. Let us do the boots as well. Look at this. Ready? Bam, bam. Double, double. And the panties. Bam! Holy crap. Let's look at this. Protection, Projectile Protection. Oh, man. I was so hoping this would have uh, like a feather fall or something like that on it, but it doesn't. So it's better. Better, better, better armor, I think. Wait. Hold on a second. If we pop all that off... Oh, no way! The diamond armor's better! Are you serious? Look at the little armor rating down there. You can see it's like one half armor's less than the than the best. And then this. Oh, man! It's not as good! Hold on. Let's see. Do we look sexy, though? Are we sexy in our new sexy armor? Uh, uh, there we go. Let's take a look at it. Are we sexy? Damn. Oh, bam! Oh, man! We are pretty hot right now. This is kind of the hotness. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm going to say we're going to use this armor. We're going to leave this stuff for backup armor. And let's go ahead and just make the rest of this into some more lapis blocks so we can save space in our storage stuff and things right now. So that's looking pretty good. We got all sorts of diamond stuffs. Let's go ahead and leave some of this out. And then we'll squirt all this into the inventory right here like so. 
seeds. Peace out. So um, I've been doing some mining, like I told you. We got the new ultimate pick. We got we're, we're doing really good. I'm really excited. So one of the things I want to get into maybe today, I'm not sure if we have enough magical crop stuff. We have tons, tons of this, or I think it is, of this essence dust. So if you want to get into to magical crops, there's a couple different crops that I wanted to play around with. Now, I'm still not exactly sure in this mod pack how we can automate it, but I'm thinking obsidian seeds would be pretty sweet. So in order to make obsidian seeds, we need some obsidian to start with, but then we also need some of this regular essence, which means we need this regular infusion stone, which means we need this weak infusion stone, which means we need to make a weak infusion stone. So that is just a diamond and some of this like so. So let's go ahead and pop this on. Popping it. BAM! It's the thing. Give me that. Immediately. Thank you. So now we've got our weak infusion stone. That is the best thing that ever happened. Let's look back at our obsidian crops. So now we need to make some of this regular essence. So we need a regular infusion stone. So in order to make that, we need some sort of essence of water. This stuff. Which I'm assuming we can't make the essence seed. That's coal seeds. Oh, okay. So like it's a different tier. So we can use the weak infusion stone to make a different level. You see how that works? So the regular essence, there's like regular essence, and then there's some that uses the weak essence. So to use the regular essence, we need the regular essence stone. So, uh, all right, let's take a look here. We can do coal, dye, water, fire, essence of earth, essence of air. That's it. So let's take a look. We need one, two, three, four. We can just make a few of these coal seeds, I think. The dye seeds. What are the uses on these guys? We can make lava buckets with the fire essence. That's not bad. Um, let's take a look here again at what the other essences are. What can we make with the water essence? Water buckets. Water stuff and things. Leaves. Yay, that's amazing. That's the best thing that ever happened. What else is there for the regular stone? Earth. We can make leaves. Yeah, that's leaves. Oh, sand. Oh, that's not bad. Maybe we'll go with the fire. So, uh, where is that? Is it the blaze seeds? No, no, no. That's super expensive. So, all right. I'm getting... There it is. Fire seeds. So, we need some lava in order to get this going and some of the weak essence. So, we can do the weak essence right now, I think, right? Let's go ahead and squirt over here. Squirt this in there. Let's do four of these guys. And then, bam. Oh, okay. And there's no sort of, like, damage or anything that happens to the weak infusion stone. So, we're good to go with that. So now we've got to get some buckets of lava. Oh my god. Is that what we're going to do? I guess so. So let's go ahead and make some buckets. 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's not as many buckets as we need. Yeah, it is. 8 buckets. Perfect! So now I have the exciting task of flo floating around, flying around, trying to find a lava lake. Maybe that'll be better. I'm going to head down here and try to find a lava lake, get a bunch of buckets of lava, make some fire seeds. So we can get into making some obsidian. Oh my gosh, the rabbit hole. All right, I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back, and we are making technical leaps and bounds here on the Derpycraft server. If you have not noticed, look, I, 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 uh, what is it called? A mode. I mowed the grass here because that's what people do. When people move into an area, they first mow the grass. And then that makes the area nice and clean as it is now here on the Derpycraft server over by a place. That is my home. So we have also created this amazing magical thing called the watering can. It allows us to make crops grow faster, and it's very simple to make. Everybody knows it <laughs> pretty much. If you know modded, you know the watering can. It's really easy. A couple pieces of iron and a bowl and some bone meal. Or, wait, well, there's an even easier recipe. <laughs> Just some stone and a bowl. You don't even need iron. So, oh, we need one piece of wheat. Give it to me, the wheat. Now, what we're going to do here... I started making some of these seeds. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to make them. So we're just going to take our weak thingy doodle right there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we are going to put lava buckets on the outside of it like so. And then crap, that's not the recipe. Seeds in the center. Let's go back out. Let's go back, 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 back. Let's get some seeds. Where are you, the seeds? Oh, crap. I had seeds. Where'd they all go? Right there. All right, now we're going to do this. It is going to be the most amazing thing. Two, 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 and two. Then we're going to grab some sea, uh, lava buckets like so. Bam, two more of those bad boys. And we're going to have eight total fire seeds. And this is all we're just using to get to the next level of the infusion stone. So we don't want to make a regular old type uh, farm now, do we? Why would we build our farm when we can use special stuff and things to do it for us? 
one piece of that, one wheat we already got. We'll actually squirt these seeds back inside of there. A couple flowers. A piece of iron goes in there. We got our bone meal. Oh my gosh, inventory is so cheesed right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh crap. Nine. Alright, so now we're gonna make a block of redstone. And then check this out right here. Garden. Or spawn instant survival garden. Super easy to make. One of these guys, one of these guys, one of these guys. Let me go ahead and take this. What happens if we squirt it out? Let's make sure we squirt it in a good spot. What happens if we squirt it right here? Oh, we can't squirt it there? Oh, bam! Bam, it's a thing! We made an instant survival garden. And this has a huge amount of all the stuff and things that we need. It's got melons right over here. Does it give us pumpkins too? Is this all melons? Melon, 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 melon. Now it gives us, uh, what is that? Sugar cane. Tile dot, no, that name, that's my favorite. Corn plants, which we know we like. Tomato, tomato. Wheat, potato, carrots, lettuce, and tile dot, null dot name. So we're gonna dig up this lettuce line. I know I don't know, I know I don't want that. I don't know what tile dot, null dot name is yet, so I don't really wanna get rid of it. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of light. How is this thing even broken up? Where's the center point here? That is very odd. All right, we'll put some more light around here, around here. Man, I hope the ants don't eat our crops. We may have to move our ants out of the way, so they're a little bit bothersome. I'm bothered by them. Now let's go ahead and take our fire seeds. Oh, they make a little, little, little guy on top. Oh, is that when I mouse over it? Oh, cool, it tells me what it is when I mouse over it. So let's go ahead and grab these guys. Now, I don't know if these guys are affected by by tick rate increase. Oh, it looks like they are. Oh, baby, we're going to have our fire things in like no time at all. This is going to be amazing. We can make a regular stone. And then what we're going to do... Oh, look at this, man. This is so amazing. So can we... All right, we get that. We got one fire essence and one fire seed back. So we can do this really quickly. We're growing all the plants. Oh, my God. This is so amazing. Technological wave of the future. Give me that. Plant those seeds back down. This guy's like our best plant right there. We're going to name him. I think I'll name him, uh, I don't know, Kevin maybe. So um, we're going to grow. Let me see. I already got two of them. We need eight of these bad boys to get to the next level. And then we're going to need to get some obsidian too. Oh, we got a regular essence of Natura. That's cool. These guys can be used... You can use make mossy stone, mossy brick. We can make vines, but we can make lily pads with those, which is pretty cool. You can do use them in the recipe for mycelium. We can make straight up cactus with it. Magical fertilizer. Oh my god! All right. So anyway, they're good. So we got to do some of this, and then we're gonna get some of the obsidian crops online too. I'm gonna go ahead and be a little bit more of a farm boy. What are the? These look like. What are they? Radishes? What are you? Radishes. I think we can do without radishes. We don't need them. Radishes aren't important. This is going to be our magical crops place. Carrots we could probably use. We might be able to um, use those. Maybe to move them around a little bit. Oh, give it to me. We do have 56 radishes now, though. So let's put those back down like so. All right. Going to do a little bit more farming, then I'll be our bees. And we're back, and we are about to make the next level. Regular infusion stone. Oh, we still get our weak infusion stone, too. All right, that's cool. So now we got a regular infusion stone. We want to get into making this obsidian stuff and things. Let's look up at the magical crops again and then go back down over. This is what we need. So we need these guys. So we need more of that stuff. Oh, man, this is going to be quite the little rabbit hole, I think. So can we use our regular stone for this? No. Oh, wow. That's a big, huge pain in the nuts. So then we have to go like that to use this stone. Okay. All right. Fine. So we can go like so, like so, like so, and like so. Wait. Did I miss one? We'll just go like this. Fine. It's totally fine. So now we got 20 and 20 of those guys. If we pull those guys out, and then we take, we'll get five of each one of these, and then we can make five of those guys, which of which we need a lot more than five. I'd like to make 16. How far? How long are these down here? Let's go take a look at how long these little real guys are right here. So they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to guess they're 16. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I guess correct. What was that noise? Oh, my God. What was that? Ooh! There's a rat monster thing. Squeaker. Ooh, Squeaker! Where are you, little Squeaker? 
Oh my god. All right, never mind. I'm a little bit scared. Let's move on. Okay. All right. So each one of these obsidian seeds we're going to make is going to make two. So we need a bunch of the regular essence. And we're back, and I got all the stuff and things we need to make ten. I just made ten of the obsidian seeds. I think what we're going to do for now is we're just going to make them, like, in a 9 by 9 and we have one extra one. But we could store, squirt them over here like this, right? And then we'll squirt that guy right over there. Then we could take our watering can. We could just sit here in the center, and this is going to give us unlimited obsidian. Now, the funny thing was, is before I made the ultimate pick... It was hard to get obsidian. Now that I have the ultimate pick, it's kind of actually easy. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much we need these guys, but it's still pretty cool. Like it's a free, it's a free way to make obsidian. Now I'm not sure it, what we can do to farm these. I think um, Ender IO. We could take a look at crafting the farming station here and see if that'll do it for us. Um, but yeah, it's a thing for sure. So we got some cool stuff and things going on here now. Magical crops is OP. Once we get, like, if we can get a good amount of magical crop stuff going on, oh baby, it would be the most amazing thing that ever happened. It would be the most amazing thing ever. Now there's something else that I found I want to play around with today that I saw. So check this out, guys. There's like this extended, inside of here, there's a mod called Extended Workbench. I couldn't really figure it out. At first I was like this, and then I was looking and I was like, wait, no, go away. So I was like, that doesn't do anything. But then if you go like this with two workbenches, it makes an extended workbench. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these extended recipes. I have no idea what this stuff does. It looks like it makes like a really, really long sword. So let's go ahead and grab, what is it, three sticks and a bunch of wood. Let's take a look at what this extended wooden sword is, man. I'm interested to see how this works. So, all right, we got our extended sword. What are you? It's just a really long sword. Is that it? Oh, whoa! It looks like I can hit. Oh, man. How many blocks away am I? So, let's say right here, we can't hit. Right here. We can hit that. One. So, that's how many blocks away. So, we're on this block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Holy crap. That's crazy. Peace out, Ant. Oh, man. I missed you. This ain't easy. Oh, I got him. Wait, this doesn't seem to work very good. <laughs> Alright, maybe we need to find a mob or something like that. But there's all sorts of extended, like, items. There's extended armor, too. So I'm thinking that we might want to try... I mean, we, ha we have diamonds galore. Like, all the diamonds. So let's go ahead and just try to, like, make the extended diamond armor. Oh, we can't shift-click it in. Alright, so it's fine. So it's like this. And we can make the helmet. Let's make a full set of the extended armor and see how that works. So this guy is like this. There we go. Oh, baby. This kind of... I bet this stuff is going to be cool. What the pan... How do the panties work? Is it like one of these? Was that it? All right. And then the boots. I'm going to guess. Three? Nailed it. All right. Let's take off our sexy lapis armor and squirt some of this stuff on. Oh, man. I look like a tank. Oh, baby. And then what's the armor rating? I didn't even see. Oh, I think it's better than like regular diamond. It might be. We gotta try to go take some damage here on our new super armor. Oh, I got an axe in the back of my head. All right, let's head down here and take a look real quick, mate. Let's just go try to find a mob and see. We won't really be able to tell like what it does. 200 and 700 durability. Oh wait, that lapis has that durability too. All right, so that is really good durability. Extended iron, extended gold. What else is there? Vampire, vampire Oxford boots. How the crap? Woven cure. This is from Witchery. So it's an extended. Why does it say. Oh, because it says extended in the description. So there's extended shears, extended hoe, extended diamond axe. These don't seem to do like a whole heck of a lot of extra damage or anything like that. The extended bow. What else do we got here? Empty extended map, extended compass. So the armor might be cool. I don't know. Maybe the armor's cool. Everything else looks kind of meh. But I mean, fun, but kind of meh. All right, here we go. Hit me. Show me. Can you hurt me? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Wait, I'm not even taking damage. You're kidding me. That's amazing. Now, I'm taking durability hits. But I was taking no damage. Wow. Is it like... Wow. <laughs> That's all I got to say is wow. Can they... The, what? All right, we're going to find another mob. There should be maybe some mobs up here. There's a little cave system, and some parts of it are dark. 
Let's go ahead and take a look here. See if we can't find a dark spot. Hit me, buddy. What do you got? It's half a heart. That's pretty BA, man. So we made that lapis armor. We wasted a little bit of lapis. But now we have the extended diamond armor. I mean, we can't be stopped. And we're back. And I got a bunch of stuff going over here. I started playing around more of the crops a little bit. I started thinking about how we're going to get a little bit of power generation online here at Derpycraft. And I started thinking, you know, it's kind of weird. We don't have a lot of different options. We could go to the, the nether and use some of the extra utilities heated redstone, gen or not redstone generators, the lava jennies. But moving power back to the overworld, we don't really have a way to move liquid besides tesseracts, I don't think. We don't have any sort of like ender tanks or stuff like that in this pack. So we're going to need tesseracts. That's such a rabbit hole, man. We need enderium ingots. That means we need enderium blend. We need resonant ender buckets. That means we need magma crucibles and fluid this and that's and all sorts of power stuff and things and i was like hmm how can we make power here so taking a look at the generators i've never really played around with any of these except for the lava jenny now there's the culinary or if you are a fancy a culinary generator and it's really kind of quite simple to make we need a piston we need some stuff and things where we got here we got this a little bit of wood and let's take a look back down through the rabbit hole here so we need iron blah 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 wait what redstone so let's go ahead and grab a piece of redstone and then what was the other thing i can't even remember how to make a piston man iron so let's grab a piece of iron and then let's go inside of here and then let's get a, one single piston made uh we're gonna need a couple furni so let's go ahead and get two i think furnaces is how many we're gonna need to make this oh hot topic hot we already made a furnace oh my god amazing yes we did something great um, we already made a furnace. I'm not sure we got why we got that. Uh, then we need some redstone. Let's just grab redstone and iron. And then let's go ahead and make the regular survivalist Jenny. That's just the regular guy. We need the better Jenny. We need the culinary generator. So now we've got this thing. It's amazing. Let us go out here to our nice flat place and select the culinary generator and squirt it onto the ground. This is amazing. It burns, it burns food. This is what it's going to burn. It's food. So how much food do we got? We have a lot of apples. So let's find out. Like, I don't know what burns and how good it burns. Let's let's take a look at a couple of different things here. Let's grab a golden apple just to see what happens with this. So if we put a regular apple in here, just at apple, are you going to burn? It's burning. It's making stuff and things happen. It's amazing. We have power. How much power do we have? Wow, it looks like quite a bit. It's still climbing. Let's turn that off so you can see a little bit better. 6,000 RF? Is that what we're going to get out of this bad boy? 7,000 RF? This apple is so powerful. 8,000 RF? 8,656 RF out of one apple. What if we use a golden apple? Ooh, it looks like it burns for way longer. All right. So, we can use apples. That's pretty crazy. We can use golden apples. They're not as easy to get or anything like that. But we have we can make apples. Like, that's not a big deal at all. So, we could grab a stack of apples and squirt it inside of here. And I'm pretty sure the culinary generator will only, like, use what it needs. Once it's full, it should stop. So, it's a great way to get some power moved around, man. We could really make some stuff and things happen with this thing. Huh. What could we do with the culinary generator? And we're back, and what can we do with the culinary generator? Well, we could get some stuff and things going here, man. We get some technology going. We got an alloy smelter now. Made a little bit of the stuff and things that we needed to get the conduit. Uh, the tier one ender IO conduit. Uh, this guy right here, just a regular energy conduit. Went ahead and made some of the conductive iron. Went ahead and made some of the, con some of the conduit binder. So we got some of that going on here. And then we got the fluid transposer. Now we need a magma crucible too, right? So in order to get that guy... We gotta go ahead and get some nether brick. Now, we can go to the nether, or we could do magical crops. But even if we did magical crops, we're still gonna need to go to the nether. Because, let me see, wait, whoa, oh, hold on, what's going on? Magical. Cr. This guy here are the nether seeds, and those require nether brick anyway. So that means we've got to go to the nether. We've got some obsidian right here. Where's a good spot to make a nether portal, do you think? Hmm, hmm, maybe back over in this early direction wouldn't be bad. So let's kind of do it right here, maybe, and then later on we can 
go ahead and fill in the rest of it. So, oh crap, oh, we're gonna need some flint and steel. Oh, and it's night, we should probably sleep as well. Let me go ahead and pop over here. Sleeping in the bed, yo. I don't know why it faces you the wrong direction. Maybe I'm laying with my head left like this. Hold on. All right, there we're, and we're up. All right, so now we're gonna need a little bit of flint. Squirting that back inside of there. Grabbing that steel, yo. And then it's time to make some flint and steel. Nailed it. Can't be stopped. Let's go ahead and pop over and squirt in this. Now, I've never been to the Nether and Derpy Craft. I don't know if it's bad news bears. Let's go ahead inside and see what happens. I don't think anybody's been here yet. And we're in the Nether. And how danger zone is it? Is it like the biggest pucker ever of all puckers? No, it seems to be kind of safe for now. Out. Let's make a waypoint right there. Uh, I was really hoping that it would be super easy and then we would come to the nether and straight away there'd be like a nether fortress right around here. This area is super open. I can see for days and days, which is great. We got to watch out for that. This stuff right here, the smoldering glass blocks will, grass blocks will light me on fire. Ooh, looks like there's some baddies down over there. Crapo. Oh, is that another fortress? So we got to find another fortress. And we, we do have our extended diamond armor on. Ooh! Oh my gosh, that was complete pucker. Oh, baby. I mean, I don't have ender pearls or anything. This is like episode four, man. All right, we got to find another fortress. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. And we're back, and I found another fortress. It wasn't really too far away from the outspawn, 90 meters away. No big whoop. Found some diamonds and a little bit of gold in the saddle over in here. I don't really feel like exploring this too much. But one of the things I was doing, which was scaring the bejesus out of me, I was completely fully puckered. Oh, oh! Was I was using this. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my gosh. This thing is so scary to use in the nether. I'm assuming that it will go... Like, we can float over lava, but it still just feels... It just feels unstable. It feels so unstable. All right, let's go back over here. It's probably night and everything. All right, it's day. So we're totally fine. All right, it's day. No problem. We got a couple of nether brick, and we can get plenty more. So now we can go ahead and make our magma crucible. Um, and I think that's going to be... Let me see here. Magma crucible... So we need that machine frame. Oh, wait, what was that right there? Don't tell me Invar Gears. God, Invar Gears! The bane of my existence, Invar Gears. So we gotta make a pulverizer next. Oh, man! The rabbit hole is so deep. Oh, I got my armor on. Hold on. Ah, oh, better. Oh, my necklace is so pretty. If you guys like this video, I hope that you did. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you. <laughs>